Hi guys and welcome to another video of Minimal Nerd. Today we're gonna see this Hackintosh behind me and how it performs. So we're gonna talk about the price, we're gonna compare it to the baseline Mac Pro that starts at around $6,000. Then we're gonna see the performance of this Hackintosh. Uh, we're gonna try a Final Cut Pro, uh, Logic Pro, we're gonna see. Okay guys, so uh, now I'm gonna show you the performance of Final Cut as well as DaVinci Resolve. And we're gonna use uh, test files from the website of DaVinci uh, Blackmagic and also from the website of Red. So let's start with uh, DaVinci Resolve. So open DaVinci. So I'm using uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. This is the latest version they have. Okay, let's open a new project. We're gonna import uh, some files that are already prepared here. So sample files, let's select all of them. And then, okay, let's change the frame rates. Okay, we're gonna drag all of them to the timeline. We just want to test, we're not here to edit a real video. Okay, so as you can see here, the play playback is very smooth. So here we have 6K Raw uh, Black Magic. Okay, let's stop it here. You can see how smooth is the timeline performance using the mouse. Okay, so here different frame rates different files okay let's keep it going yeah different okay so here we're gonna go straight to color grading uh, I don't want to spend too much time on editing so we're just gonna try some uh, basic color grading if I can select all of them and then just apply a lot probably the DGI one okay dji phantom lut okay maybe a little bit more exposure and like an s curve yeah that's it and now we're gonna just go straight to deliver to see the performance of the rendering okay we're gonna keep it 4k so we're exporting from 6k to 4k and let's add to the render queue. Let's title this test for DaVinci. Okay, save and start the render. So here you can see the speed, so it's 30 seconds remaining. So it's really fast. Of course, if you add more effects and more, um, uh, more color grading, and you add more, um, more maybe uh, stabilization and other effects of course it's gonna get uh, slower but still this is a good performance for 6k raw rendering and i think we're almost done we don't even need to speed up the video seven seconds and it's there okay it's done and Let's check it out. Reveal in Finder. A test for DaVinci. Open with QuickTime. Here we go. So our file is around one minute long. In rendering like 30 seconds or less. So that's faster than real time. Okay, let's speed up. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna close DaVinci. This is just a quick test. I'm not here to do a full editing video. 
I don't save. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to Final Cut. I already have some files open. We're gonna try to add two more. Import media. So I wanna go to um, C documents and red row. Okay, so maybe this one and this one. Okay, two files. So let's add these two here. Okay. As you can see, okay. So now we're gonna add the two files. Right on. So all of these files are 8K raw from red cameras and you can download them on the red website as i can show you here you can go straight to uh, red.com uh, sample r3d files and you can you can download any of them and test them by yourself uh, so this is a good way to know how is the performance because um, many people can use the same file and this way it's um, it's kind of like a stand, standardized test instead of having different kind of files. So I'm just going to go back to Final Cut. So you can see here the play, playback performance is really smooth. So I'm moving the cursor really fast. Okay. You're going to try to go to the other file here. Yeah. There is no problem in performance. Okay, let's go back to the other one. Okay, so this file is also playing smoothly. So we have 8K raw, red, um, full resolution playing smoothly in Final Cut. So that's not bad. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cor color correction, not really color grading. Okay, see here, adding a bit more shadows. A little bit of exposure, that's fine. Let's move on to the next file. Maybe too dark. And the mid-tones a little bit and yeah, more of the highlights. Bring everything down, okay. Now let's move on to the next file. So this is a bit dark. I'm gonna try to lower the exposure. Okay, what about the highlights? Too dark okay here it's fine okay the mid-tones bring it down and bring the shadows as well okay so now it's a bit clear as you can see here okay and for the last file I'm just gonna mess around here see how it goes okay a bit more mid-tones okay that's it so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, export this no need to mess more okay settings we're gonna export uh, in h264 okay 300 megabytes the resolution is around 4k it's not really 4k but it's uh, a bit more in the uh, in the horizontal okay so let's export this Let's call it test for red 8K. Save. Okay, let's see the, the rendering. So it's going on. Okay, it's done. So now let's check the file. The playback is uh, smooth. We have no problems as you can see here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna close uh, Final Cut.
thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any questions about any other uh, software that i did not test and you want to see let me know in the comments below i'm going to be doing more videos about hacking toshin if you guys want to see a guide let me know as well in the comments below and i'm going to do my best to guide you guys and, and you know help you with hacking toshin and you know discovering this new uh, world of of hacking so thank you guys and see you in the next one cheers